How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create a really simple program in Java that will allow us to take two numbers from a user and then return the sum of those numbers. So to, use, to uh, do this I'm just going to use Eclipse. I'm going to pop open Eclipse right here. You can also use NetBeans or any other IDE you want. And I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to create a new Java project. I'm just going to call it simple calc. Oops. And then I'm going to click finish. I'm going to expand simple calc. And I'm going to right click the source file, hover over new, and then select class. I'm just going to call it main. And I'm going to make sure that it includes the main method here. Click finish. And here we do have the default Java uh, template that we can get to work on. So as I said before, we're going to take uh, some input from the user, which means that we're going to need to import the scanner class. And to do that, we just come up to the top here and type import Java util.scanner. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to allow us to take uh, input from a user. So let's jump down to the main method and get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object and I'm going to call it, it's going to be the scanner object. And I'm going to call it in and I'm going to set it equal to new scanner. And then within the parentheses here, I'm going to type <clears throat> system.in. So now I've instantiated a class, or in other words, created an object, called it in, uh, stand, short for input. And we're going to use this in just a moment. But first, let's come down to the next line and create a couple of variables. So since we're working with numbers, I'm just going to use integer. And we're going to need uh, three variables. And they're going to be int. I'm going to call them int uh, num1, num2, and answer. So num1 and num2 are going to be the two numbers that the user gives us. And then answer is going to be the sum of those two numbers. Let's jump down to the next line here and get started. So when we run the program, the first thing we want is, uh, is some instruction. And what the instruction is going to say is it's going to say, please enter a number. So we're going to type system. <clears throat> System.out.println. I'm going to say, please enter a number. And if we run this, we should look down here in the console. And perfect, it says, please enter a number. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to get rid of this ln here and just leave it as system.out.print because I want the number to be side by side with the text and not below it. Um, so perfect. So now what's going to happen is once the user runs that, they're going to want to obviously type a number in the console. And we need to store that number in a variable. So we're going to store it in num1. I'm going to set num1 equal to in, which is again the object we created earlier using the scanner class, in dot next int. And that's basically just going to take the number and store it to the number one or num1 variable that we created. And I'm going to jump down to the next line and do the same thing for the second number that we get from the user. So system.out.print <clears throat> and I say please enter another number. <clears throat> and then we're going to jump down and say num2 is equal to in dot next int. So the next integer that the user enters. All right, perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to take num1 and num2 and store the sum of those two numbers in the answer variable. And to do that, we're just going to type answer. And we're going to set it equal to num1 plus num2. So now this answer variable is equal to the sum of these two numbers, whatever they are. And now we just want to print out the equation back to the user. 
So again, to do this, we're going to use system <clears throat> dot out dot print, and we're going to use a little bit of concatenation here to make it look pretty. So basically, all that really means is that you know concatenation is just the operation of joining two strings together, and we need to do this in order to display the the entire equation back to them. So to do this, we're just going to start with num1 because we want to say num1 uh, plus, and then we're going to add a string here, and that string is going to contain a plus sign because we're adding these two numbers, and then another plus to concatenate num2, and then another plus to concatenate an equal sign, and then another plus to actually concatenate the answer if I can spell it. Perfect. So let's take a look at how this program runs. So I'm going to click run up here. I'm going to enter in five and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to enter in five again and what should happen is it, sh is it should return the equation back to us and of course it does. It says five plus five equals ten. Everything's all spaced out and looks nice and pretty. So Everything's working perfectly fine, so have fun with this, guys. Try, um, try, you know, expanding on it, adding some more features and some more functions, and just uh, see what you can do with it. Uh, thanks for watching. If this video helped you, definitely give this video a like. And if you have any questions or anything like that, post below in the comments. Until next time, guys, it has been a pleasure.